Today I'm going to demonstrate how to graph in Excel. I've already organized some sample data from an experiment where we measured heart rate after doing stair steps of increasing number into two tables. The left table, the individual data groups, are listed horizontal. Okay, so if you look, here's Emily, here's all her data. The table on the right, the individual data groups are listed vertically. Okay, again, here's Emily and here's her data. If you compare, you'll notice that it's the same data. Either organizational method can be used to generate identical graphs. Okay, and in fact, we're going to do that in just a few minutes. So to begin, we're going to work with the table on the left-hand side. We're going to begin by going up to Insert and selecting Chart. When you do this, a chart gallery uh, appears, okay? And oftentimes it'll show a whole bunch of them. But what we're going to use today is we're going to use the XY scatter. Although a line graph, okay, appears to be a more logical choice for this particular data set, the formatting of Excel results in all data points on the X axis being equally spaced. Okay, this is not an accurate uh, representation because some of the spacing is 10, right? 0 to 10, that's 10, but then 10 to 15 is 5, but then 15 to 30 is 15. Okay, so an XY scatter graph will show the distance between data points on the X axis to scale. Okay, and therefore is the correct choice. So let's select the XY, okay, and we're going to select the one that has the series connected with straight lines. So a chart area pops up. This is blank, which is fine. We're going to add the data in just a second. We're going to move it under the table, and I'm going to resize it just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Once I'm finished, I'm going to right click on the data or the chart area, and I'm going to move down this uh, pop up menu to select data. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the computer, tell the program, what data I want to chart. Okay, I want in this chart. So you can have multiple data tables on an Excel spreadsheet, which we actually do have here. So you, clicking this button here allows us to select this entire table, the entire left-hand table. Okay, once we've done that, a preview chart appears, or a preview graph appears. Okay, and just by looking at this, I can see that it graphed the steps, the number of steps per minute on the x-axis, which is correct because that is the independent variable. And then the heart rate, the measured heart rate, is on the y-axis. And again, that's correct because that is the uh, dependent variable of this particular experiment. And then I'm going to click OK. So congratulations, you've now graphed your data in Excel. So let's look at the chart on the right-hand side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up, Insert, Chart. OK. We're going to click XY Scatter. Okay, oops. Our blank chart area shows up. We're going to resize it a little bit, move it over and resize it a little bit. Then we're going to right click on our chart area, select data once again, and we're going to select the entire table. Again, it's the table on the right hand side. Now, once we're finished, we're going to look at our preview. Now, when you look at this, you notice, okay, something's wrong here. Look at the numbers on the bottom. This does not represent the number of steps per minute, okay? So what they've done here, uh, and if you look at this really fast, if you look at zero, okay, you'll notice that they've taken everybody's heart rate at zero and they've plotted it as one line, which of course is not, which is not correct. But we can simply fix this by clicking on this button that says switch row 
and column. And if we do that, we notice that a chart appears and it is identical to the one on the left. Okay, so again, two different ways to organize data, same chart, okay, or the same graph. So now, unfortunately, we're not finished, okay, because every chart you need to be able to communicate to your audience, to someone who is looking at your chart or graph, what are they seeing? What does this mean? So we're going to go up here to our formatting palette where it says chart options and there's a title. Okay, we can click chart title and then right below it you can add the name. So this is exercise intensity versus heart rate. And we measure the heart rate in beats per minute. Okay, so there now we have a title. Okay. So then let's go ahead and label our x-axis, the horizontal axis. Again, this is the independent variable. So this was steps per minute, okay? And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and label our vertical axis, which is the independent, or I'm sorry, the dependent variable. This is heart rate, okay? And this is in beats per minute again, okay? So once you've got your title and your labels, and the axis labels, you are finished. You have created your first graph. Don't forget to uh, save it, of course. 